Scooby-Doo Mystery, developed in 1995 by Argonaut Software and released by Hanna-Barbera Studios, Acclaim, and Sunsoft for the Sega Genesis and the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Just like the cartoon series it's based off of, Scooby-Doo Mystery follows the misadventures of Scooby, Shaggy, Fred, Daphne, and Velma as they go around solving mysteries. The game only has four stages, each taking place at an abandoned something or other where the gang has conveniently made a pit stop. The four areas you visit are an abandoned pirate ship, an abandoned carnival, an abandoned town, and an abandoned mansion. You see a theme here? There really is a lot of abandoned shit in the Scooby-Doo universe. Scooby-Doo Mystery is a side-scrolling adventure game where you must find clues as you progress throughout the abandoned areas in order to solve the mystery of who is haunting the place. You take control of Shaggy and Scooby as you explore these areas. Fred, Daphne, and Velma hang around to help out. Every time you find clues, you bring them to Velma, which helps you progress further on in the story. Fred is there to offer you advice and assistance about accessing previously inaccessible areas of whatever abandoned whatever you're in. And Daphne will occasionally give you Scooby Snacks, which will heal any damage you've taken throughout the game. Finding the clues is pretty simple. Most clues and items are out in the open, but there is some occasions where you need to use Scooby's nose. If you hold down the sniff button, Scooby will sniff around the area, and occasionally you'll find a hidden item or clue. So if you're ever stuck in an area of the game, just have Scooby sniff around and eventually you'll find something to help you proceed. Each stage of the game has a primary antagonist that you're trying to unmask by the end of the level. In the first stage, it's a ghost pirate. In the second stage, it's a ghost clown. In the third stage, it's a tar monster. In the fourth stage, it's a vampire, conveniently named Count Bagosi. Wow, they, they really, really tried hard on that one. <laughs> Hidden throughout the stages are also bonus games. One bonus game is like a refrigerator game where Shaggy is throwing food and you have to catch it on plates that Scooby is holding. Move too far and the food will fall off the plate, or if one plate gets too heavy, Scooby will drop the food. In the end, however much food you gather will depend on how many bonus points you get. The other bonus game is like a whack-a-mole game. You have three pots where enemies will pop out and you gotta whack them with your hammer. Sometimes your friends will pop up and you can't hit them or you'll lose time and points. There really is no point to these mini-games. They don't advance the plot or provide you with any clues or helpful items. They're just there to waste time. There are other smaller enemies assisting the main monster in every level. It can be anything from rats, birds, to even werewolves and zombies. Guess they had to have something other than just one guy haunting the place, huh? Scooby-Doo Mystery is fun at first, but gets very repetitive. Even though there are only four levels, all four of them are the exact same thing. Even the same song plays in every single stage. It really, really gets old. The graphics in the game are very nice though. The animations on Scooby and the gang are very fluid and look nice, and the backgrounds are very detailed. There's even a password system in the game to help you bypass levels you've already beaten. Before each stage, a small story sequence occurs, showing the gang arriving in the mystery machine to whatever abandoned location they're going to next. This one in particular I find funny because they take a stop and then a tar monster just kind of stops behind their van and hangs out for a little bit. Just He just stands there and then when the gang finally notices him they take off and he chases like, Hey! Hey get back here! The game over screen I find pretty funny as well. The gang's just sitting there and you know Velma's just looking off like, oh shit. And Daphne just has this disgusted, disappointed look on her face like, Scooby, Shaggy, what the fuck? you had one job. You can also run into walls and Scooby laughs at you every time you do it. I find this more amusing than I should and I end up doing it a lot just to break the mediocrity of the game. There isn't even really an ending to Scooby-Doo Mystery. Once you unmask the fourth and final boss, it just says congratulations and the credits roll. The whole team has themselves displayed in the credits in old-timey photo format. I guess they were really, really proud of what they did. In the end, Scooby-Doo Mystery is a fun game, but it's very short and very repetitive, and I would only really recommend it for hardcore fans of the show. Well guys, I think that's it for this episode. Join me tomorrow on Day 9 of the 31 Games of Halloween. Please leave a like and a comment down below, and subscribe if you haven't already, and please share with your friends. As always, I will see you next time, guys, and have a good night. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!